Hello friends, I am Thiruj and I hope you are safe and healthy. Today we will discuss the fundamentals of cloud computing. And cloud computing is the huge topic but I will keep it short and make you understand what is cloud computing. So the agenda will be what is cloud computing and history of cloud computing and benefits of cloud computing and types of cloud computing and last deployment of deployment models. So without any further delay, let's move forward. So let's discuss what is cloud computing. So before that, we need to understand what is cloud. Like uh, cloud is simple, the combination of water drops and ice crystal, right? So just imagine in a city, that's a, a cloud is there in the sky. And suppose you are here, okay? You know, particular location in the city. So you can see the same cloud and other person in the same city also see the same cloud in a particular city. So that means you can access the same cloud in a different location. So I can derive from that like cloud computing is like another server. Okay. Another server in the remote location which we can access from anywhere. So this is the layman definitions. Okay, if I tell you the technical definition like cloud computing is an IT resource which you can access from anywhere or it is on demand delivery of IT resource as pay as you go pricing. So this is how the cloud computing you can define and without any owning any server and any load balancing any resource you are not owning but you can use the cloud computing means you can use all the resources, the IT resource you can use from your locations. Okay, this is how we, I can define the, what is cloud uh, computing. Cloud computing, in 2006, AWS came with the product EC2. So, elastic cloud computing. So, this product actually made it a cloud computing is a popular. So, before that, cloud computing was a just a term, okay. So, in April 2008, Google came with uh, App Engine, yes. So, App Engine and that is generalized means this is available for the general people in 2000, uh, 2013, December 2013. In February 2010, Microsoft came with the Azure and in July 2010, so OpenStack product so came with uh, like NASA and the, the Rackspace hosting. Rackspace hosting came with a uh, product which is OpenStack and it is actually uh, for only for the infrastructure not uh, the product we will discuss the type of uh, cloud computing okay it, it is only for the infrastructure uh, service okay so next is the interesting thing is the Microsoft revealed in 2019, like the most used operating system is Linux. Though Microsoft is a window, but the most used, most used operating system in Microsoft Azure is Linux. So benefits of cloud computing. So first one is agility. The agility means you have a access of cloud computing means you have a access of remote server in a uh, means what uh, so you, you without any purchasing any server and deploying uh, any networking uh, stuff you can access the cloud computing from the day one so that th this is the agility that means you have the already set of cloud computing stuffs anytime you can do whatever you want you, you can do experiment on that so without any purchasing the things so even all the cloud service providers have providing like the free uh, tires or free tire so that means you can access anytime and you can ex uh, experiment on that okay this is the agility of uh, the, the characteristic of cloud computing the first one agility a lot of characteristics are there but I am discussing the main Four characteristic here okay the second one is elasticity if you consider elasticity means it is just a characteristic of rubber 
Rubber means you can elastic means you can stretch. That means suppose you need a uh, ten server today due to your peak season in your application. That means suppose you have the booking engine. So in booking engine there's a there's a peak season like in January is the most most booking is ha happening. Okay, so that means you need ten server now. But in the future, you don't need the 10 10 server to uh, serve your application. So you need 5 server. Okay. So elasticity characteristic or benefits of cloud computing means so you can scale up and scale down your server without any means uh, uh, in deploying your server. Or in your uh, traditionally, you have to purchase the server, then you have to uh, networking that server so that so then your uh, server you can deploy the 10 and 5 so but in the cloud computing you can, you don't need to purchase anything and you just a uh, within uh, two to three clicks you can deploy your uh, means whatever the server you want so this is the elasticity so scale off and scale down your server at any time in a single click next is cost saving so imagine in traditional uh, traditional uh, server you have to purchase everything like servers and you have to hire networking engineers to deploy your application but here you have to just register and log in so to deploy your application with existing cloud compute computers okay so this is how you can save your costing using the cloud computing so next is deploy globally in a minutes it means you if you remember i have told you in cdn uh, video so that means the distance between your server and your user okay the distance between the server and the user actually defines your latency or rtt round trip time that means so the Suppose you have you, your user, the target user is in USA. So you can deploy your application in a minute in the USA. So with the with the help of cloud computing. Cloud computing. Okay. So this is this is the characteristic of or benefits of cloud computing. So let's discuss the types of cloud computing. The types of cloud computing a lot of uh, types uh, means the many types are uh, types are there but we will discuss only three uh, types here so which is recognized by NIST so NIST, uh, NIST is uh, I think the National Institute of Standards and Technology okay so the types of cloud computing First one is IaaS. It means infrastructure as a service. Infrastructure means what? It is just a service which which provides infrastructure. That means server, network, and you can say load balancer. Okay, then reverse proxy. Everything. The server related stuff is providing the as a service so that's why it's called infrastructure as a service okay the second one is pass p a a s it means platform as a service okay platform as a service means we have a infrastructure now okay with so in a infrastructure you make a platform for your application like suppose you need a PHP uh, platform, you need a Node.js platform and you need a Python platform. So even the cloud computing uh, service provider, the cloud service provider also they are providing the pass, the platform as a service. You just need to just deploy your application and it will work and they will take care of everything like infrastructure and your platform. Okay, the third one is software as a service okay the so that means infrastructure is taken care platform is taken care you you just a user you can use as a software as a service 
suppose this is i can uh, give an example like crm and email service so these are the, these are the software you can use as a as you need so this this is a software as a service that means infrastructure and platform is taken care by the cloud service providers so these three are the recognized by the list and we will discuss and others are like function as a service and serverless computing so function as a service also is it like a microservices that things also they are providing cloud compute uh, cloud uh, service providers these are the types of cloud computing so let's discuss the deployment of models okay the first one is private cloud the private cloud means it's it's the same as a traditional uh, server like the enterprise they are using they are in uh, in house so, uh, like they they are making the servers in house like that means they have their own server with them okay they are not using cloud uh, service providers so also they can dedicated server they can use from there in them then public cloud is simply uh, like they are providing the provider uh, like aws and uh, google and microsoft they are providing the public cloud that means everyone can use this cloud service and that is shared okay in hybrid is is the both combination of private and public cloud it means suppose uh, i can give an example suppose you you have an, a huge data so that you uh, don't want to share these data with the uh, means this is very important data for you so you have this data in your uh, the private cloud this data is private cloud but your application is in uh, public cloud uh, public cloud that means aws and you can use google and microsoft but for accessing those data you have to sync between this private and uh, public that means this cloud called as a hybrid cloud so this is the deployment models of uh, cloud computing okay so the conclusion here is cloud computing is not a silver bullet so you need a good architecture and server to deploy that and the security is every time is changing so you have to properly understand what exactly cloud computing and uh, to make a secure cloud so you need to understand what is actually security on public cloud so security always challenge in public cloud okay the migration also that means your traditional server to cloud computing is a huge challenge like if you consider the netflix they i think they they has taken seven years okay they has taken seven years to migrate from their traditional server to cloud they actually they are using s3 currently they are using s3 in aws so just think how the cloud computing is helpful and also this is not only the solution so that's why so still the experiment is going on so lot of things will come in future so we'll discuss also in deploy uh, like cloud computing in further so thank you so much for today so so please like share and comment and please subscribe thank you so much